So my work is about what you smell when you walk into this rainforest, and that smell is plant volatiles. In this rainforest that's under glass, the volatiles are trapped by the glass and they're not destroyed by UV. So uh, they can accumulate to such large amounts they can burn your nose in here. I'm studying particularly the volatiles that help plant leaves to deal with stress, like from high temperatures and drought. These volatiles help plants to deal with climatic change, but they also in turn feed back to affect the climate and they're stored as oil, but once you break them free, then just like a perfume that you would spray on yourself, that oil gradually is released into the air, becoming a gas. We used to go on vacations to Costa Rica, um, you know, whenever we could on Christmas break uh, when I was a kid. So I became fascinated with tropical forests there. So once I decided to get into sciences, then um, I, I set my track to get back to the tropical forest kept working there, learned how to identify plants, came here, and I've just kept doing it since. <laughs> here, I can plug into AC power while I'm working on the leaves right out inside the forest, which is amazing. Um, I know that it's not gonna rain because the people at the energy center didn't hit the button to say rain. If I wanna see how plants respond to drought, we just turn off the rain for a while. You have three-dimensional access to any point inside the biome. Salad tongs for climbing. <laughs> you can climb up this space frame and you can drop ropes to anywhere. And then you can rappel down to that point, you can haul instruments up to yourself. That is still difficult, hard, hot, grueling work, but it's easier than climbing trees, which I've also done in the real world. And yeah, that's, that's much harder <laughs> and more dangerous. <laughs>